It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I am very, very excited for this episode and this month's box from Beer 52. I'll tell you why in a moment, but I quickly want to say that if you want to sign up to a subscription for Beer 52, you get your first box free, courtesy of us here on Real Ale Craft Beer on the YouTube channel. Um, hit beer52.com or hit the link in the description box of this video. That'll take you to their website. And in the promotion code part of the website where you sign up for the subscription, put in Stone the Crows. When you put in Stone the Crows, that gets you the free box of beer. All you have to pay for is the five pound delivery charge. Why am I excited then? Well, first of all, because I got a big box of beer. Let's get this Hugs and Kisses open by Brewery de Mollen. It's a session IPA coming in at 3.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. We won't, I mean, it's nice to get the beer out before. It's always about the beer, first and foremost, before we start talking about ourselves here on the channel. The beer is the star of the show. So beer in the glass. Big fan of Brewery de Bolland. Fantastic Dutch brewery. We have a two finger white head. Golden amber coloured beer. Slightly haziness going on. Good levels of carbonation. You can see the carbonation there on the bottom of the glass rising up. There you go. Look at that. For a, for a beer at 3.5% ABV, it's got fantastic body to it. Does it have any oats in it? Water, barley, malt, pills and caramel, bitter hops, sars, dry hop mosaic, and it's a top fermenting yeast. But it looks like fantastic body on that beer. Oh, you get that sars hop definitely coming through. Really kind of citrusy spiky kind of tropical aromas let's dive in cheers <clears throat> that's lovely really drinkable really refreshing a little bit of that caramel malt comes through What an amazing beer for 3.5% ABV. It's very drinkable, it's very refreshing, but there's a little bit of body there. A little bit of sweetness, a bit of caramel to begin with. A little bit of dryness coming through on the back end, and then it's kind of a little bit of pine needle, a little bit of lemon and grapefruit, maybe a touch of orange peel over there a little bit, and then this lovely kind of peppery, spicy, bitter finish that just just finishing, finishes things off and takes it away from being like a like a like a sweet beer. It's definitely definitely a well balanced beer between that sweetness and the bitterness. But I want to tell you why I'm so excited. Bag of love corn, habanero chili. Looking forward to them. But this month's Ferment magazine, which features the Netherlands, we are on page 58. We actually feature in Ferment magazine. Beers on the box. There you go. Massively, massively excited um, to see not just me, not just me, but my my fellow kind of re YouTubers from around the world. We got Darwin's beer reviews here. We got Greg's beer reviews. We got the Master of the Hobbits, um, and of course Johnny Garrett, who runs the Craft Beer Channel, who ripped the article. Um, check those guys out. We've also got Pint Sized, Clawhammer Supply, and the Brewdog Network. So it's a nice little acknowledgement. It's nice. Um, in terms of written press, so make sure you get this 
for Moat Magazine. In terms of written press, it's it's not often that we get a shout. It's not often that we 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 get written about as YouTubers. We're kind of I don't know. We're like we're like um. Over there a little bit. We're, we're doing fantastically well. We're all really, really enjoying it. Um, but it, I'm just trying to say, it's just nice to get a little kind of acknowledgement sometimes. So I was really pleased to make for Men Magazine. So if you want to read that article and read up on all of the beer reviews from around the world, then check out this month's box from Beer 52. Um, this is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I'm a massive fan of Brewery de Mollen. They make some terrific beers. And one of this is one of the best beers I've had at 3.5% ABV. A low, relatively low ABV beer. But with plenty of flavour. I like that enough to give it for a, for a low ABV beer. That's got loads and loads of flavour. That for me is a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. Again, please check out Beer 52. I can't wait to get into these. Kind of love corn habanero chili corns. Do you want to have a quick look at the beers while we're here? This is the next beer we're going to be reviewing on the channel. It's a brewery Keys, another Dutch brewery, and it's their Mosaic Hop. Then we have a brewery Posiat and Cater, and it's their Smooling IPA at 6.5%. ABV. Next beer is a Brewery Keys Pure and Craft. It's a Hazy Sunrise New England style IPA. It's 7.1% ABV. Next up we have a Daybreak Coffee Porter by Frontal Brewery. Of course, with it being the Netherlands box. There's a lot of beer, beers here from the Netherlands. Still haven't been to the Netherlands. I really want to go. I have to go. I've been at uh, Schiphol Airport many, many, many times. I've transferred and changing flights, but actually stepping out of the airport into the Netherlands. Oh, I did, I did that border town thing, but I was mainly in Belgium. Stepped into Holland a few times. What's that famous border town where they have two front doors? One for Belgium, one for Holland, and whatever the highest tax break is, that bracket is, that they'd lock that kind of door and they go out the other door. <laughs> Brilliant. 8% ABV coconut and chocolate stout called Resonance by Brewery de Moors Lattle. Love their beer. Another beer from Brewery de Mollen. This is their Verne and Vlam. It's an India, India Pale Ale-ish. Uh, Wollenhoven Extra Stout. That looks amazing. I love that kind of almost... It's like an authentic looking kind of beer bottle. That is something that has stood the test of time. Black bottle cap. This is Panty Stout by Oedipus. 6% ABV. Next beer is by Frontal and it's their Brewdog IPA coming in at 6% ABV. And last but not least, we have a New England IPA dry hopped with citrus at 6% ABV called Abstract Formation by Demore's Lattle Beer Engineers. All of these wonderful beers then coming from the Netherlands. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!